The Hazleton area and Pittston area girls basketball teams both came into Monday night at 6-2 in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Both were one game behind Crestwood and Wyoming Valley West in the Division I standings, and both of them were on the same court on Monday night. Pittston held on for a 42-39 road victory. Toward the end of the first quarter, Hazleton area built an eight-point lead over Pittston area thanks to their signature press and a hot first quarter by Mackenzie Yuri, who had six points in the frame. Yuri stayed active all night, but the Lady Cougars' lead would dwindle. She did a good job. She's up for the game. She, she tweaked her ankle yesterday, so I was surprised. She played a really good game, solid game, and, uh, you know, um, I thought we played good enough to win, but this, um, in certain situations, kind of broke down a couple of times. We had them dead the rights in the beginning again, like 14-8, 14-6. We had them dead the rights, left them off the hook. Um, you know, had three or four opportunities, missed a shot, throw it away. Um, you know, even at the end, we're down eight. I felt we were in good shape. We cut it to two, miss a layup, get, miss, get a rebound, throw it away. I mean, threw the ball away on another rebound. You can't do that in, in the last two minutes of the game. Pittston area started to adjust to the pressure, and they put on some of their own in the second quarter. The Lady Patriots pulled within one by halftime. We worked on the press. We usually put 10 people on the court when we know we're playing Hazleton because we know up here it's going to be tough. The girls held on to the ball. They took care of each other, and they said at halftime, we got this, we'll be okay, just help each other. So they're a true team. They stick together all the time, and it's amazing. Pittston pulled down 18 rebounds in the first half, nine offensive and nine defensive, and that also helped fuel their comeback. In the third quarter, junior Allie Barber provided a spark for the Lady Pats. She grabbed five points and our play of the night. If you could name that move, what would you call it? Uh, I call it the over, under. Our team does it sometimes. After I got the first call on the charge, I didn't want to have that happen again. So you got to go to the over-under. Yeah, you got to avoid them. The Lady Cougars did claw back from an eight-point deficit in the fourth, but freshman Taryn Ashby hit two key free throws, and Pittston area survived. Now let's take a look at our top five plays from the game. At number five, Barber is back. She blocks the three, and that's impressive. And on the other end, Taryn Ashby scores to ensure this play would make the top five. Number four is a long range give and go. Brianna was Nikki finds Alyssa Sitch, who sends it back to was Nikki, who scores. Mackenzie Yori stops in at number three. She is on her way to the basket, but there's a roadblock. No problem. Recalculating, and she reaches her destination. Christy Kaschak gets our number two play as she breaks up this pass, and she keeps the play alive. That's really why she earned our number two spot. And then on the other end, eventually, Becky Marchetti would get the two for the big AJ. And at number one, it's the old over-under from Barber. Before we get to our scoreboard tonight, we do have more news out of the Hazleton area high school. Head football coach Jim Drumheller has resigned. Athletic director Fred Barletta confirmed the resignation this morning to News 13. Barletta added that he would like to have a new coach in line for the Hazleton area high school in time for the Hazleton area school district board meeting at the end of February. Players are currently on an off-season program and Barletta would like to get a coach in place as soon as possible. 